And it's also starting from inside the 10. That pass off target and picked off on the redirection. Marshawn Lattimore. Boy, right through the hands of their best player, and that is a pick. Keaton Lucas had to go through his mitts. And number two for the other team looked like the wide receiver going down to secure that ball. What a great play. What a play by Marshawn Lattimore. My goodness, securing the football, being aware, keeping your eyes in. What a start to the weekend. I'll say. Tulsa runs the ball. D'Angelo Brewer straight ahead. And he gets... They were 2-10 at Tulsa before he arrived and then made a bowl appearance a year ago. Evans' pass sails down the field. Third down and seven. Evans to throw, and it's pulled in for a first down. The receiver stumbles, but Justin Hobbs is getting back on track. Brewer running and spins away from Michael Hill, but still are going to get more reps now. Evans steps up and has a completion. Lucas had it and dropped the ball. Blitz for Tulsa, that's what you'll see. They want to put some of the bigger players for Ohio State in space, no question. Evans on third and long. Lucas holds on to that one. The favor of Tulsa. Brewer bouncing off of one defensive lineman then into the arms of another. Short gain. One and four at the 30. Play fake. Evans has a completion. Atkinson gets the first. Two spot has a roll without question. Here's Brewer. And nice cutback. Boy, we watched Brewer show some really good. We see the up-tempo offense. And a quick throw to the flat. A broken tackle as Lucas picks up a first down to the 10. Helmets. Brewer straight on, dragged down by tight plays, aiding him that. Again, hot and humid down there. Defense has been out there for a while because of the turnover. Here's an end around to Lucas, and he's inside. It's a win for this Ohio State defense. Third and goal. Straight ahead is Flanders, and he did not get in. He got to the goal positions in your favor. Evans under center, it's Flanders straight ahead, and he got stuffed! He didn't get in! The Buckeye D holds! Again, I think you were given a gift with a turnover. You take the points when you can, early in the game. What a great job at the point of attack right there. Joe Berger, number 48, linebacker, senior. One of the few seniors that you'll see on the field for the Buckeyes, stepping up huge and stopping any momentum James Flanders, the running back, was trying to get. Plus, you had the timeouts. Ohio State saw the personnel that was in the game. You had nine offensive linemen literally in the game. So you know what's coming. In that situation, they have the jet sweep in their offense. Against a talented defense like this. Twice as many plays as Ohio State. And here's Brewer, able to keep his feet. Tremendous run by D'Angelo Brewer, quarterback in high school. Here he is again. And he fumbled the ball out of bounds. It'll stay Tulsa football. More often than not for this Buckeyes team this year. Second down and nine for the Golden Hurricane. Evans to throw, going to Lucas, and it's incomplete. What they wanted with a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Ohio State was offside. Here's a free play. Another back shoulder throw that's way off. Intended. Dane Evans, you see this a lot with these spread teams, looking to the bench to get the call, the check from the head coach, who's also the play caller. Evans with time, the pass deflected and incomplete. It was McMillan. But you're incorrect on the overall number of stadiums that seat 100,000 plus. All 100,000 need to be on their feet because this Tulsa offense is having some success today. On first down from the 12, they run it straight ahead. 
and a nice other schools they seem to label it a pass offense but it's really a downhill run offense we see it again here straight ahead between the tackles they play over and over and over again Lugs on the ground they're hitting a little trap play and Ohio State has no answer right now and they'll do the same play again another big running lane right down receivers you're playing seven on seven in the middle here it is again and Flanders gets another first down it's like Philip Montgomery found what he likes now it's play action off of that Evans pass pulled in major hit by Hooker by Tulsa's offensive line close to a first down is Flanders to be the big 12 third and five Evans pass is on the money a first down to the 45 yard line two-step creep over to the right that did it huh just a little bit here's Flanders taken down spun down a name familiar to college football fans and Greg Schiano he and Luke Fickle in charge of the defense for the Buckeyes Schiano coaching the safeties as well as calling the defense on second down what a catch made by Lucas for a first down clearly say don't worry big fella I'm coming back to you I didn't forget about you number two play fake for Evans and a man is there it's pulled in first down grab by Hobbs and Tulsa is Good run pass option from Phil Montgomery. Here's a reverse to Lucas, and he has no shot. Ohio State was all over that from the get-go for that type of play. Earlier, never. Here's a pass over the middle incomplete. Third down in this. Evans and a delayed handoff to Brewer. He gets to midfield to get a chunk of it back. Takes over after the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty by the coach. It's an interception. It's Hooker to the house. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Malik Hooker had two interceptions last week, including one where he tipped it to himself this one he just read the quarterback easy pick and takes it into the end zone the first touchdown of the game it comes on defense Malik Hooker we told you about him in the open maybe hasn't played a ton of snaps here in Columbus but he is the real deal tremendous instincts tremendous athleticism and he showed it right here he said Dane Evans Show me where you're going. I'll hop in front and take it for six. This defense. First down for Tulsa, though, after that great return. But, boy, Ohio State's D-line stepping up the line. Now they're being a little more passive up front, but holding the blocks of the offensive line. Through the hands of the quarterback. Ball on the ground. It's recovered by Evans. Break. We'll see what Evans can get on this one. He'll get nothing on it. He fumbles the ball. It's recovered for a minute by Ohio State. Now they got it. Baker's running with it. And finally tackled at the 37. Tyquan Lewis hacked it out. Back-to-back -back takeaways by Ohio State. And Evans is hurt. Holding that right arm. Watch this. Number 59. A little speed to power. Hitting Evans right on the right arm. I mean, that's difficult right there for right tackle Willie Wright. Tyquan Lewis with a great jump, extension with his right arm, and getting a hand on that football. Question is, was the hand going forward at all? Ruling in the field is a fumble. Conductor. It's about as explosive as I've seen a quarterback play in some time. If you're Bobby Petrino, how can you take the guy out? He's a yard short of being the first player ever to get 400 passing yards and 200 rushing yards. He's stuck on 199. He gets pulled. Give him something to look forward to next week, possibly. They keep it on the ground here. Stay conservative with Brewer to the 23-yard. Down and six. And they're going to throw it. And it's through the hands of the receiver. It was caught by a defender, Marshall. Evans throws another interception. It's Lattimore again. Inside the 20. 
inside the 10, Lattimore, touchdown Ohio State. A colossal gaffe by Tulsa at the end of the half. It's on its shoulders and on its hips, taken in air. Brewer straight ahead. Lurvin Meyer, and he'll do it all, running, catching, blocking. On first down, Jackson, or excuse me, Atkinson with a catch. Into a rhythm, throwing the football. They run it here. Brewer, though, is gobbled up by Taekwon Lewis. Coming off a knee injury, senior year of high school. Pass out on the flat, has no chance as Brewer is dropped by Hubbard. Heated, and the defender's trying to get him up. Off their cans here with six minutes to go. As they run Flanders, and he gets nothing. He belongs on the sideline, though, I can promise you that. He's as good as it gets. Evans wrapped up, but he's kept him, and he's still a defensive coordinator. Evans' pass is caught for a first down by Keevan Lucas. The head coach at Rutgers, he's going to get some chances, I would assume, if this defense continues to play at a high level. James Flanders pick which again, yet things have been seamless so far. Granted, it's just week two. As that pass is almost pulled in, but incomplete. Tenure here at Ohio State. And Chiano worked uh, for us the last couple of years. But wanted to get back into coaching as uh, that pass is incomplete. Buckets from a long way away. That paper airplane throw in the trash can, much more impressive. Here's Evans as a completion. But Lucas is wrapped up. Nice 10. Evans again to the air here. Right through the wickets. Is this team already has as many pick sixes as they had all of 2015. And that was a pretty dang good secondary for the Buckeyes. That's a great stat. Third and eight. Evans going deep. It's under thrown. Picked again. Gary on Conley with Ohio State's fourth interception of Dane Evans. Dane Evans has had better days. This one just a little underthrown. And it happens. You know what? Even the best players in the world underthrow the football. He tried to give his guy a chance. The receiver, Justin Hobbs, didn't recognize it quick enough. And a great job by Gary and Conley going up, high pointing the football, and making a play. Fumbled on the goal line, and it was recovered for a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he won some guys over right there. But we didn't show you as Flanders is brought down after again at two. And so many turnovers by the Golden Hurricane. That pass behind the intended receiver incomplete. Fourth down. Eight, and I can't justify to the boosters, to the alumni, to my president that he's alleviated those concerns. He's a great coach, but I don't think he's going to have a job anytime soon in college football. Evans dumps it off. To about the 21-yard line to Nigel Carter. And get anybody to sign on off, sign off on it right now. I just don't think it's possible. Evans throws and it's broken up. So when you guys say, because look, I agree with you. I, it's the well-coached Texas defense was very impressive. He made that receiving core so much better than what I think they we all thought they'd be coming into the season. He's clearly poised. First half, but Notre Dame's still a pretty good football yeah. team and I think they're only going to get better with Kaiser at the helm. You have to think right Notre Dame and Oklahoma are two one loss teams who definitely are not out of it when I in terms of the playoff. Is, is there anybody else who lost last week or was lost today as that pass is deflected incomplete a helmet comes off. Big hit by Eric Smith. Division and then Ole Miss as well both out of the SEC West because the meat remaining on the bone. They still have the opportunity to win huge games against top. Not making the necessary adjustments offensively in order to do it so I until that happens then the answer is no for them right now they're going to struggle against some teams uh, throughout the SEC West here's Evans on third down and seven and it's caught by Josh Atkinson and pushed out of bounds of the 40 to go to the NFL or finish out his eligibility yeah I really like their young quarterbacks Joe Burrow was a kid that they played and have been very pleased with his development so the quarterback position here in Columbus in good hands and listen we touched on this Urban Meyer the success with the different quarterbacks he's had whether it's Alex Smith or creates and crafts an offense around it and that's why quarterbacks have had success in this system and will continue to do
as long as he's calling the plays and, and helping with the offense. Jordan Fuller couldn't pick it off. And this, well, they, they hammer Wisconsin. They knock off Alabama and then beat Oregon to win a national title with a third-string quarterback. Nick Bosa with a big play, forcing a fumble, and it's recovered by the Buckeyes.